you are in the place of anointing flowing as you come to church here at Fivefold Church. In the times of Apostle Peter, they, the sick and demon oppressed would come under his shadow, position themselves where he was ministering, where the anointing was being released, and it says all were healed, all were free. All. Is anybody with me? You hear me? I know some of you heard that word of God, but we rejoice to hear it again and again. Amen? Amen. But this is exciting truth. Hallelujah. That when the anointing is there, all demons have to flee. All sickness has to go. So revival is now, and God is moving how we did in the times through Apostle Peter. When you come here to this church, you are in a place of the anointing coming upon you, being released upon you. It is like you've stepped into Holy Spirit reign, power of God coming down as rain on you throughout the message, throughout this time right now, through giving, and throughout this time of ministry till the end, even after we've ended, the, 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 the rain is still falling down here. Hallelujah. So it's important to renew your mind always that God is releasing to you every moment here. Every moment you're here. It, open your eyes in the spiritual realm to see what is coming upon you. Some of you need healing. Healing is coming upon you already. Some of you need deliverance. Freedom is coming upon you already. Some of you are already healed and freed. More of Holy Spirit and anointing is coming upon your life and filling you more. There, there's more that God is doing. Things that you don't even know you need. The anointing is being released upon your life. Protection, spiritual protection upon you is being released as you come here, as you come under the covering and stay there and be faithful there and keep coming there. Protection is coming upon you. Hallelujah. So right now, it, renew your mind that this is your time to receive. It's not about feeling anything. It's not about one-on-one -on -one prayer. It's your time to receive from God, period. From the front to the back, to those watching online, it's time to receive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want to ask you, please, and encourage you, don't leave early so you don't miss out. Let God keep raining upon you. Don't miss out. Amen. And be reverent to him. Be respectful to him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you may, be, may have felt demonic oppression in your body. You might have felt demonic oppression in you throughout the service or right now. And if that's you, come to the front. It's like the times of Apostle Peter. Make sure you're getting in the shadow, deep in the shadow for a deep work, a deeper work that needs to be done if you feel that oppression. So at any point of the service, make sure you come close as possible. Hallelujah. Right now, close your eyes and take a moment to be just you and Jesus. Take a moment to surrender to him. Take a moment. Some of you, God spoke to you and convicted you in that word that you need to become more humble so you can really hear God's voice in his word. Just speak to him, surrender to him, and surrender to him for how he wants to move and touch you and deliver you and heal you today. That it would be how he wants, not how you want, not how you think it should look like, but how he wants. Just to take a moment to be with God, to talk with him and surrender right now. Jesus. This one here, this one here, can you help, help her come? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Allow her to come. Allow her to come. Allow her to come. This is the power... This is how powerful God's anointing is. Allow her to come. Your time is up, I declare. Your time is up, tormenting her. I speak every curse broken off her life now in Jesus' name. I speak every curse of witchcraft broken now. I declare every spirit of witchcraft, every spirit of insomnia, every spirit of lack, division, rejection. I declare all of you must leave her on three in Jesus' name. One, 
two, three. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Complete freedom now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I release this anointing upon her now, and I declare complete freedom now, peace, peaceful sleep in Jesus' name. You are removed from the past. Today is a new day of freedom and abundant life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, this woman in the, the pinkish dress, yeah. You can come here, hon. You can just stand right here. Come here, hon. God is touching you right now and delivering you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I see God removing so much pain and hurt from how people mistreated you, abuse, and hurtful words. And God is freeing you right now from, from lies of the devil speaking against your identity. Thank you, Jesus. You were so loved by God. You were so made, you were made so beautifully and perfect. I declare right now every word curse broken. I declare every spirit of rejection, every spirit that came through abuse, every spirit that speaks against your identity, every spirit that tries to keep you from being bold and courageous and strong in the Lord and used powerfully by God. I declare all must go now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The past is gone. The memories cannot return, and I release this anointing upon you. I speak peace to fill you, joy to fill you. May the fire of God come upon you, and may you be a strong, victorious, confident, bold woman of God from today that will do powerful things for God and destroy the enemy's works. That's what you were created for. I see you as this lioness who will be used powerfully by God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You, hun, you right here. Yes. Yes, you can come. Thank you, Jesus. You can stand right here, hun. Right here, a little closer, hun. God is freeing you and healing you right now. Please. No blue inglés. No inglés. You can. Okay, okay. You can translate too? Okay, it's okay. He'll do it. He'll do it right here. Say it again. My children are in drugs. I'm in so much pain. And I ask them to change, but they don't want to. I am diabetic and I'm losing sight. God is going to do miracles for you right now. You can speak. Can you just speak where you are? God is going to do miracles for you now. I see him breaking a generational curse that's causing this attack of the devil, bringing addiction. And, I, and, I, and God is healing your body right now. Thank you, Lord. I declare every generational curse to be broken now in Jesus' name. Every generational curse of addiction and sickness, I break it. I declare every spirit of infirmity, every spirit of addiction in the family, 
I declare every spirit of witchcraft must go now in Jesus' name. I speak all diabetes out of your body. I declare your sight to be restored and no sight lost from now. I speak complete healing in this body now in Jesus' name. And I speak all the anxiety and depression gone. I speak peace, peace in your mind now, peace in your body, peace in your heart. Complete healing, complete abundant life now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Yes, you, hun. Yes. Your hunger is moving God. Right here, hun. Stand right here, hun. Right here. Do you want to renounce anything? My stepmother said I wasn't allowed to come on her property until I came to your church. She, she's been a long time Christian and I was part of one of the biggest drug cartels in America. And there's been multiple attempts on my life and I'm in a federal indictment. And I, I've been in psychiatric wards in every single hospital you can imagine. I've been raped and human trafficked. And I've been around the worst drug dealers and I'm alive and God saved my life. And the only reason why I'm able to be here today is because of the grace of God. And I'm here to share my story that if I could be saved, if I could stand here on this podium, that God is working in my life and he can work in yours because I'm alive to tell my story and I'm free and I'm not in prison and I'm alive to share that God is real. Jesus is real. And by the grace of God, I'm here at Catherine Kirk's church today and I feel so blessed and so honored to be here, part of the congregation and to share God's love with the world because he's the truth. Jesus is the truth. Hallelujah! 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. We praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for saving her. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you. I declare right now every curse that's been sent upon your life, every word curse, I declare it broken now in Jesus' name. I declare no harm can come to you, and I declare every demonic spirit, every demonic spirit of depression, every demonic spirit of addiction, every demonic spirit that came through abuse, through rape, must leave you now in Jesus' name. I declare your past is gone, it is wiped away. And I declare you will not be known for your past. Your past cannot be used against you. You are made new. You are the righteousness of God. You are pure in Jesus' name. And I, I speak this anointing to fill your life now. Be filled now. May there be abundant of life. May God use you so mightily in his power. May your testimony reach so many across the world. In Jesus' name. I release peace to you now, and I speak peace and unity and love in your family and all your relationships in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You, hun? Yes, you want to come? From a line of witches and... And I gave, when I gave my life to the Lord, I found out what the, why my life was so cursed. And he's been attacking my children with the spirit of insanity. And we've been through so much ever since I gave my life to Jesus. And my firstborn was laid on a satanic altar. And I don't know what took place there, but ever since then, my, my family's been totally separated and and they didn't want nothing to do with God they didn't want nothing to do with me and I raised up my children to know the ways of God and and my daughter here 
she just came to the Lord about a year ago and I almost lost her so many times she's been addicted to drugs and alcohol she's and mental illness in my family and he's been my other daughter lives at home with me and she's ready to lose her mind and I need these things broken off my family is this all your family here can can they come up here you come next time after I've been this my character was assassinated and so Satan built up lies that I hurt my children that I bashed their heads in all three of them have spoken that and it's, no, it's nothing but a lie and I want those false images destroyed destroyed off of me because they've been they've been on me all my life this is the latter part of my life and I want to go into the estate of I want to do what you're doing I'm called to do that and so is she amen hey guys can you come let's just come over here can you Come here next. Thank you, Jesus. And can you guys face me? Honey, can you face me? Yeah. Hi, honey. Hi. You go, go closer to mom. Go closer. Can you guys all go right next to? And then face me. Thank you, Jesus. Come a little more this way. I don't want anyone to fall off the stage. And then everybody face me straight. I detach her and this whole family from what she has renounced now from all of this witchcraft and I speak every generational curse broken off this family now in Jesus name thank you Jesus thank you Jesus I de I detach them all now and I de can I just want honey can you stand right there I just don't want anyone to get hurt or anything thank you Jesus I command every spirit of witchcraft, every spirit of addiction, every spirit sending these false accusations and lies, all witchcraft, I declare must leave this whole family now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I cancel every demonic covenant that she made. I cancel it all now. I remove all of the witchcraft now completely off of her and this family in Jesus name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I declare every spirit of mental problem of insanity gone in Jesus name. I speak complete freedom in Jesus name. Complete freedom. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Face me, hon. Face me like this. Thank you, Lord. I release this anointing upon you. I speak peace and joy to fill you. Now, may God use you powerfully. And I speak, you are pure. You are pure. You are beautiful to God. So beautiful. And he will use you powerfully. Thank you, Jesus. I speak all the darkness gone. <laughs> removed from you completely now in Jesus name thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Lord I speak complete freedom peace and joy to fill you I speak the fire of the Holy Spirit to come and fill you to overflow may you have abundant peace in your mind in Jesus name I speak abundant peace and joy this anointing to fill you abundant peace and joy now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You are free. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, you are so good. Praise God. You all can go back down and you can leave mom to keep receiving. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Thank you, Lord. God is amazing. Amen. Yeah. You, hun? You, hun? You can stand right here, hun. God is freeing you right now, hun. Did you want to renounce anything? 
just want to renounce anything of like past generational curses because my grandfather was a warlock. He opened doors to our family. Our family is, from my dad's side, are separated. They're just fighting over money and material things and it's not been peaceful and it has been tormenting our family lineage. And I've been having some like attacks over like the past season and it's been hard for me and try to fulfill God's calling in my life. And sometimes I wanna give up because I don't have like barely no one here. And I try to make friendship, but the devil has been cutting off since I was little, like an orphan. And like, I just want to have a relationship with people, but it's hard. Like, I talk to people, but people just go away. And I know it's like, like more demonic because I've been getting like sleep attacks when I try to like listen to sermons. Sometimes I fall asleep. I hear like weapons going on top of me, like shh, shh. It's been so hard. I've been, I like rebuking it and everything. Sometimes does not want to go away. I just want to be set free and fulfill God's calling in my life. Amen. God is setting you free right now, hon. Thank you, Jesus. I, I speak every generational curse broken now in Jesus' name. Every generational curse that came from the warlock family member, I break it and I cancel every demonic soul tie now. I remove every curse sent upon you with this witchcraft now. And I detach you from everything you renounced, every spirit attached, every spirit of rejection, every orphan spirit, every spirit of division, every spirit that comes and attacks you in the night. I declare all must go from you now in Jesus name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. God has freed you. You are free. And I declare doors to open up of good people to surround you. Not any people, good people. You're worthy of love from people. You're worthy of godly relationships. You're worthy to have a Jonathan someone who supports you and cheers you on and loves you. You are worthy of this. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Thank you, Jesus. I speak these doors to open now, and I send these people here. I send these people at 5F to come to you in Jesus' name. You are family here. You are family. You are loved. You are precious. You are chosen. You are family for life. You are family for life. We aren't going anywhere. We're here for you. I release this anointing upon you, and I speak these desires of your heart to be fulfilled now, for you to be loved well, for you to experience God's love through other people to you. In Jesus' name, this is what God has planned. God has planned to show his love to you in ways you have never experienced through people. And this is coming now, his love for you. I speak peace and joy to fill you now, abundant life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, we praise you, Lord. Um, yeah, you, you two together, two together? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. You can stand right there, hon. Hallelujah. God is setting you both free right now. You're together. Hallelujah. You want to renounce anything? Yes, my uh, beautiful girlfriend here has arthritis she's been dealing with, and uh, we haven't been getting much sleep, and she's been dealing with it for a long time. And I've been praying with her every single night, and uh, we need a miracle. <laughs> we need a miracle. Amen. God wants to heal you right now. Thank you, Jesus. I declare every generational curse broken off your life now in Jesus' name. 
I speak every curse, word curse spoken over you. Diagnoses, word curses broken now. And I declare every spirit of infirmity, every spirit of arthritis, every spirit bringing pain to you, and every spirit of depression and fear must go now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I speak healing to your whole body now. All the arthritis gone, all the pain gone, I declare. Be healed in every part of your body now. Be healed. I speak all swelling to go down, all pain to go now. I release this anointing now in Jesus' name. It must be gone now. And you must live your days pain free. You must live your days being able to do whatever you want with your hands in Jesus' name. I speak you are healed in Jesus' name. I speak it will go down and you will see healing, I declare in Jesus' name. As you walk in faith and you declare I am healed, you will see it come to pass because by his stripes you are healed. By his stripes you are healed. Thank you, Jesus. I speak peace and joy and abundant health and abundant life to fill you now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. Yes. My wife, she hasn't felt well for almost five years. Uh, first, God led her to your ministry, and then she was getting triggered by it. Then I was led to your ministry from God, and now we're both following your ministry. But my wife, we're, we're just so desperate for healing for her. I mean, we're talking like bedridden practically half the time. She couldn't even get out of bed yesterday. For almost five years after the birth of our third daughter, we have three little girls. We know they're girls after God's heart. They've come under attack, but we just need freedom, complete freedom. She has a heart like yours for the Lord. So many things God has been ministering to her. You've just been confirming over again and again and again. I know he's brought us here and I know he wants to touch her today. Please. Hallelujah. God is touching you already. Right now he is touching you. He is freeing you and healing you right now. Thank you, Jesus. I speak right now every curse to be broken off you, every word curse, every diagnosis, word curse of sickness in your body must be broken now. And every generational curse I break now. Every curse sent upon you, every curse of witchcraft sent upon your body, I break it now. And I declare every spirit of infirmity, every spirit causing sickness to your body, I declare must leave now in Jesus' name. All sickness go completely now. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed completely now. Complete healing. No more pain. No more having to be in bed. May you be in full health, abundant health every day from now in Jesus' name. I release this anointing to you and I speak abundant life now in Jesus' name. I speak protection over you both now, protection over your children now, that these attacks must stop. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. You must walk in victory. You must walk in abundant life. You must do powerful things for God with nothing holding you back. I declare in Jesus' name, every spirit trying to keep you from serving God powerfully, I speak it gone now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. We renounced all kinds of things. We wrote them all down on our phones. God knows. But uh, yeah, we want to serve God with all that we have. And um, if you would, wouldn't mind imparting to us as well. Yes, I detach you from everything you've written, all you've renounced. I detach you from it all now. And I declare every spirit attached, gone from you both now in Jesus name I speak this anointing to fill you now may God use you powerfully 
powerfully in this anointing to destroy yokes off of people's lives, to speak his word, his true word. I release this anointing to you. May God use you mightily. In Jesus' name, my eyes open up through you. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God's touching you right now, hon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you want to renounce anything, hon? Yeah, everything. I just don't know what's wrong with me. I want to renounce anger. Uh, spirit of control, uh, spirit of orphan, uh, domination, um, pornography, masturbation, everything that I've done wrong, everybody I've hurt. Everybody who has hurt me, I forgive them. I want to forgive myself. Amen. I detach you from all of that now. I speak every curse broken, and I declare every spirit attached, every spirit that brings torment in your mind, every spirit of depression, I declare all must leave now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I speak complete freedom now in Jesus' name, and I release this anointing to you. Be filled with peace in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, God. God, you are so good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You two here? Yes. You brought pictures? My daughter. Um, so I couldn't have kids for seven years. And then I finally did miraculously after all the hormone shots and treatments I went through. And my daughter's two years old, but now they're saying she might have autism. And also she has a lot of fear. She's afraid of water. We can't even shower her. She's afraid of everything. Her food I have to blend every single day. It's just so hard. God is going to free her. God is freeing her right now, freeing this family right now from all of this. Is this, are you, is this mo mother, m m aunt? I see God breaking off generational curses in this family right now. I speak every generational curse broken now. This curse that has led to this, this problem that she's, your daughter's having that you described, I break that now in Jesus' name. Every curse that was placed upon her before she was born, I break it now in Jesus' name. And I detach her and you and your family from what you spoke. I declare every spirit behind this autism, behind her being a, her fear, her fear of water and having the food she can't eat, I declare all must go from her and this family now in Jesus' name. And I declare all depression, all anxiety, all the burdens and heaviness you carry, it must go from you now in Jesus' name. I speak peace to fill you. I send this anointing to her now to touch her. Be filled with peace now. Peace, peace in your heart in Jesus' name. And may you have peace and joy with your family, with your children. May it be so joyous every day and no longer a struggle, no longer so difficult. Now in Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Hi. Hi. Maybe she wants to get saved. <laughs> and I just got out of a really bad domestic relationship for years and it started because I came to Christ and he pulled away from me which was fine because I wanted to get closer to God and I just want to pray over me and my daughters amen 
Amen. Thank you, Lord. I break every generational curse now. I detach you from all that, and I declare every spirit that came through abuse, through dom domestic abuse, and every spirit that's come to her, that's troubled her in her mind, all fear. I declare all must leave you both now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I speak all the bad memories from the past gone. I cut every tie that was connecting you to the past and even bringing her along. I break all those soul ties now, all those ties now. I declare you are free now. You are free in Jesus' name. It's in the past, you are free. <laughs> you felt it, hon? <laughs> I felt it lift off. You felt it lift off, praise God. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are free indeed. You are free indeed. Be filled with peace now. Be filled with this anointing now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I release this anointing to you now, and I speak peace to fill you, the fire of the Holy Spirit to come and fill you now in Jesus' name. May you know God's love now so powerfully. May you sleep peacefully in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord, for every miracle that you are doing. Thank you, Jesus, for your precious anointing. Thank you, Jesus, for revival and your miracles, your deliverance, your healing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I see God touching you right now. You want to come right here? Hallelujah. I see God touching you right now. You have such a heart that pleases God. I see. And God wants to remove everything that's keeping you from living in the fullness and abundant life right now. Thank you, Jesus. I speak every generational curse broken off you now. And I declare every spirit that's come through people that have hurt you, that have mistreated you, that's come as a repetition time after time in your life from a young age to old age, people mistreating you, people causing harm to you and speaking against you and just being treated unfairly. I declare all of these attacks must stop now in Jesus' name. And I declare all the hurt that's come to you through these must go now. In Jesus' name, thank you, Jesus. I speak healing in your body, healing in your body now. And I speak peace to fill your mind and your heart. I release this anointing to you to, to, to fix and eradicate everything in your life now. All of, all, the, all of the issues, I release this anointing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Right now, God is coming in power to heal and deliver every one of you here and through the screen to everyone watching at home. He's releasing this anointing to destroy every yoke. It's time for mass deliverance, mass healing, mass impartation. There is no distance in the spirit. This anointing of God is so powerful. Those of you watch online, you do not need a physical touch. It is the power of God that destroys every yoke and this is being released to you through the screen. You do not need a one-on-one -on -one prayer. Jesus is so much more powerful than to be limited by a one-on-one -on -one prayer through me, amen. As a vessel, I'm going to release this anointing. I'm going to step in the authority. And what's going to happen is every demon that's here has to obey. Whether is you're in the back, you're in the front, you're watching online, every demon has to obey the authority of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Every sickness, everything of darkness in the kingdom, the, in the devil's kingdom has to be destroyed, has to go. God's kingdom must come here in every one of your lives right now. Hallelujah. 
So for some of you, it's important to renounce. For some of you, this is a key that unlocks deliverance. So we're going to spend a moment to renounce right now. Begin to speak right now the things, maybe you made a list, things you know you need to renounce, the specific bondage in your life, to open doors. Speak it right now. Renounce it aloud right now. And everyone watching online, renounce right now and expect God to come through that screen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shea Rabakia Manosukara. Shea Lako Rabarakia Manosura. I declare right now. Every generational curse broken off of every person now. Every word curse, every diagnosis spoken over you or that you agreed and spoke over yourself, I break it now off of you. You are not that sickness. You do not have that sickness. You are healed by Jesus' stripes. I remove that curse now. I speak every demonic soul tie broken. I declare every curse of witchcraft broken off you now in Jesus' name. And I detach you all from the things you have spoke, the things you have renounced. I declare every spirit attached now must leave every person now in Jesus' name. All infirmities must go. Every spirit of witchcraft must go. Every spirit of lack must go. Every spirit of depression must go. Every spirit of anxiety, panic attacks must go. Every spirit, every spirit that came through abuse and trauma must go. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I declare every spirit that comes in the mind, that comes tormenting you constantly in the mind, coming with negativity, speaking negativity against you, speaking negativity about the future, distracting you constantly. This demonic torment must go now in Jesus' name. I declare every spirit that comes in the night, tries to disrupt your sleep, tries to steal your sleep, it must go now. All insomnia must go. Every spirit of suicide, self-harm must go now. In Jesus' name, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Every spirit of religion must go. Everything keeping you from the new wine must go in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Every spirit of rage and anger must go. All addiction must go in Jesus' name. Every spirit that's come from church hurt must go now. Thank you, Jesus. And, and God is, is freeing women right now. There's a lot of women that have had the religious spirit placed upon them, sent upon them. And God has called you to be a leader. God has called you to preach. There are some fivefold ministers out here who are women who the devil tried to stop you in your calling, but he is lost today. This spirit of religion that's come at you, that's come at you through other people, with wrong doctrine pushing you down. I declare this must leave you now in Jesus' name. And I declare nothing can keep you from God's calling upon your life. Nothing can keep you from preaching, from teaching, from leading in Jesus' name. You are called, you are chosen, you are worthy, you are smart, you are powerful. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I see a lot of women free today. A lot of women are freed today. Thank you, Jesus. You shall be powerful in the Lord. You shall be powerful leaders in the Lord. You shall deliver and heal many. And the devil cannot stop it. He's defeated today. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. I declare all sicknesses to leave bodies now. All sicknesses that, that have been given diagnoses over you, I remove those and I declare that sickness out. I declare by his stripes you are healed. All diseases, all terminal sicknesses, go now. All pain and chronic pain, go now in Jesus' name. And I speak creative miracles right now. I see people born without certain things. I declare creative miracles now for you to receive these things in Jesus' name that you need in your body. Thank you, Lord. I declare every spirit behind every mental issue, autism, go now in Jesus' name. Every spirit making it hard for you to focus, to think, to speak, it must leave in Jesus' name. And I declare over every child here, every child, or and, and this is people watching online, I see children out there. You, I'm speaking to parents now. Your parents are having the same issue as this as, as your child, I declare, is free now, where it, the, 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 the kid cannot, they have these irrational fears and they can't, they resist things, they resist food and things that you need. And, and, and God is freeing them now. I declare this spirit gone from you now, every child in Jesus' name. Freedom, healing in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I, I declare... An aneurysm. God is healing someone with aneurysm. With it, so, an aneurysm happened, or is, was a something with an aneurysm? God is healing right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Healing, healing. Be healed completely now. Thank you, Lord. I see God straightening the back of scoliosis right now. Be healed now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see God restoring vision in an eye. Someone has some sort of vision problem where it's deteriorated in one eye. More and more, I declare the sight to come back and no more loss of vision in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see someone's muscle has been pulled and it hasn't been healing. I declare healing to you now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I see someone with a disease, a problem where your muscles stiffen up in your body, M muscles stif stiffen in your body, and you have cramps in your body. It wakes you up at night, and it's really painful. I declare this to stop now in Jesus' name. This must go now. Be healed in Jesus' name. I declare all epilepsy and seizures to stop now in Jesus' name. Never again may you have a seizure, I declare, in Jesus' name. I speak all cancer gone in Jesus' name. I speak all breast cancer gone. I speak all skin cancer gone. I declare all skin disorders, skin issues, go in Jesus' name. Be healed in your skin in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God is touching you right now, hun. Hallelujah. God loves you so much and he's freeing you. Thank you, Jesus. I declare all demonic spirits that came through trauma, that came through trauma you witnessed, that came through abuse, every demonic spirit that brings fear in your mind, every demonic spirit that comes in the night in your dreams, every demonic spirit of division in your family, I declare all must go now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I speak complete freedom now. Complete freedom now. I release this anointing to you and I speak peace to fill you. Peace in your sleep, peace in your heart, peace in your mind, in Jesus' name. And all bad memories cannot come back again, in Jesus' name. You are so loved by God. You are so special to God. He adores your heart, hon. You have such a beautiful heart. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I speak healing to every person, complete healing in your body, in your heart. Be healed in your heart from all hurt that people caused you. I speak healing now in Jesus' name. Complete healing, complete freedom now. Peaceful sleep from now. Abundant health in your body from now. 
abundant peace, abundant joy, abundant health, abundant life in every area, peace in your family, unity and love in your family, in your relationships, in your marriage. I declare in Jesus' name, all division gone, peace and unity and love in Jesus' name. All the stress gone, peace. Thank you, Lord. And I, do, I see right now this, there's some of you that have been dealing with, like, stress, stress in your lives with a lot of out, outward attacks happening, a lot of attacks happening. It's just adding up a lot of stress and people treating you, mistreating you. I declare this stress gone from you. I declare these attacks to stop, and I speak protection over you now. Protection over your peace. Protection in the spiritual realm in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is going to pour out his spirit right now. Some of you have never received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and he's releasing this now. He's releasing more of his spirit to every one of you here. Surrender to God and hunger for more of him, more of his spirit to fill you, to fill you to overflow. He fills the hungry, and he wants to fill you now, but he needs you to be hungry. So invite him in. We're hungry, God. We're hungry, God. Let the hungry be filled. I release the fire of the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Spirit upon you all now. Be filled. Be filled with God's fire now. More fire, more passion, more zeal. Let the flesh die. Let the spirit rise up. May you be more spiritual. May your spiritual eyes open. May you carry the fire of God. Passion for God and his kingdom. Passion for truth. Passion for purity. Passion for others that they would know Jesus. May your love increase. Your love increase for others. God, we love your spirit. We love you, Holy Spirit. We love your fire. We love what you do to us. We love you to make us more like you. We love you to make us more pure. We love you to give us, give us your heart. We love you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands and receive the anointing. I'm releasing this to you, impartation. This is real anointing, not to be taken lightly, not to be taken as tradition. But this anointing is released for you to go and release it to others, for you to carry God's power and release it to others. Lift your hands and, 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 and come with a pure heart right now to receive. I release this anointing now upon you all. May the power of God fill you and flow through you so mightily from today, in new levels from today. May people encounter Jesus in power as you speak with them, as you share testimony, as you talk about him, and as you pray for pray for them. I declare miracles to flow through your hands, miracles to flow through your tongue. I declare the sick to be healed as you pray for them. As you lay hands on the sick, as you outstretch your hand, may they be healed. I declare demons to fear you, to tremble in your presence, to recognize this anointing as they recognize it here in this place. As they recognize it in me, may it be recognized in you. This same anointing, may it be recognized in you by the demons and may they obey as you walk Walk in your authority and command them. May so many be delivered through you, healed through you, saved through you in Jesus' name. Everywhere you go, may you not miss a chance to serve God. May you serve him every day this week. May you serve him powerfully. May the anointing flow through you powerfully. And may you ignite revival fires everywhere you go, in your family, in the workplace, in the grocery store, in the nail salon. Everywhere you go, may this revival spread. In Jesus' name. Receive this now in Jesus' name. I declare to every picture here, I send this anointing to every photograph here, to every person in every photograph, and I speak healing and freedom and this anointing to cover them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Give Jesus a big praise for what he's done, for the miracles he's done. For the miracles he's brought you. Praise him. Hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
His word does not return void. He's truly touched you today. You've been, you've been healed and delivered and transformed today in the spiritual realm. Receive it and keep it. Don't let the devil steal it. It's spiritual what you've received today. Some of you, some, the devil wants to attack some of you and say, you didn't feel anything. Like you saw other people fall back, but you didn't fall back. Maybe you weren't healed. He is a liar. It is in the spiritual realm that, that the miracle takes place. That's why we rejoice for every miracle. We don't wait to see if something happens until we rejoice. We rejoice for every miracle. I believe that the word shall not return void. I believe in the power of this anointing here. I believe it. But we have to partner with faith or we can lose it. So lift your faith. Be strong in faith. And you keep rejecting the devil's lies. Those of you that had sickness you are healed and you will see it manifest you will see the pain go you will see the swelling go you will see the true evidence of what god did in the spiritual realm declare it every day and reject every left die a lie of the devil saying otherwise so we're going to practice right now declaring using your authority because this is how you keep what you have received and, and keep the devil from taking it and maintain your deliverance and healing. Say, I am healed. I am, healed. I am, free. I am free. I am anointed. I am anointed. Which means that when you speak, your words are anointed. Which means that as you declare and pray for your family, your words are anointed and the prayers are working. So you walk in that confidence. I am anointed. You rest in God. You walk in your authority and rest in God and keep your faith. Hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, there's a playlist on my YouTube I created. It's super important for every one of you to watch. Very important. I mean, if you're serious about being a revival warrior, it's important. If you're planted here, it's important. And that's called the Revival Army Training Playlist. It's on my YouTube. There's 20 something messages, just very important foundational messages. The first four or the five are like the most important, pretty much they're all important, but how to receive complete deliverance and how to maintain deliverance, four parts. So take it seriously, maintaining your freedom, receiving freedom and maintaining your freedom. You gotta be serious because the devil's serious, so we gotta be more serious, right, amen? And um, a bunch of other messages that are important, super foundational for you to see. So that's on my YouTube playlist, Revival Army Training Playlist. Um, we're going to, I'm going to ask you to go back to your seats right now. Keep praising God and keep being in the position to receive. Because remember, the anointing has fallen like rain during this whole time. So soak up every drop. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah.